Hello, my loves, and welcome to your weekly reading. This is from May 16th to the 22nd of 2022. So I'm just like clearing my desk. I'm clearing my crystals here. And of course, I will be uh, clearing my feather, the decks that I'm going to be using for the reading. And also for you, if you would like to embrace. Here we go. Alrighty. I'm going to put this on the side as we concentrate on who's next in the reading. So let's see who's next. I'm pretty excited to see. Libra. Perfect. So uh, if you're uh, anywhere that you have Libra in your chart, this is your reading. Anytime you see this will be the right time. If the reading resonates, claim it. If it doesn't, then look at your ascendant sign. You could look at your um, moon, which is about your feelings and emotions. You could look at Venus, that's about love and finances. You could look at your Saturn, your Jupiter, and also your North Node. In the reading, feel free to uh, swap the energies around if you feel I'm not talking about you. And take what's yours in the reading and let the rest go. And all, of course, Cuspers and Cross Watchers are welcome to the reading. So let's see what's going on for you, Libra. Libra. Put this here for now. So how are you all, my beautiful Libras? I hope that you're doing well. And I want to uh, ask you a question. How are you treating life versus how life is treating you? How are you treating life versus how life is treating you? It's a question to ponder on. And feel free to answer if you want. And let's get started with your reading. Let's look at the situation at hand. got the high priestess let's look at what's crossing you and the challenge the two of wands let's look at the root got three cards that came out so we'll leave them here for now let's look at your recent past till now in the current energy remember the past the present and the future are all emerged into one so let's see what else is going on here. You got the Queen of Swords. This card wants to come out. The Four of Cups and the Devil. Hmm. Let's look at the immediate future. Queen of Cups. Let's look at what is hidden from you. Knight of Swords, and let's look at the hopes and fears. Three of Wands. Oh, I like the Three of Wands. Very nice. And let's look at the possible outcome. Oh, that card went to come out. You got the Sun. <laughs> and in there overall, you got the Eight of Cups. Uh, I feel like a lot of you are walking away from a situation where it's been very slow. Okay, I'm, I'm just taking some cards underneath because Spirit is like, oh, look at this. Like, you know, I can't put all these cards down, but. Uh, let's look at these cards like fast fast okay uh, just to and I'm going to put them back into the deck in a second but I want to show you something here there's something that's been slow moving in a situation or very slow okay um, there's an ending also that's taking place uh, so type of dead end in a situation okay um, there could have been betrayal uh, yes or lies and dishonesty but I see that you're facing your challenges here in the situation and uh, you know you're facing and you're setting uh, strong boundaries here this is about interferences with people or places or third party situations here. But what I'm showing here with the moon card is that again with Neptune and Pisces here, there's something, there's like, there's illusion, uncertainty, confusion, secrets. There's a need to reflect and there's lack of clarity in the situation here. So definitely I want to see what's happening here in your reading. So let's get started. Now we have here the eight of cups energy in the overall. So this is a, the eight of cups energy talks about a moving on walking away or traveling so it's walking away from a particular person or situation here or people 
In this situation, you got the high priestess. This is about intuition. It's about mystery. It's about the higher power. And it's about trusting your gut in a situation here. The high priestess is here for you. Uh, what's crossing you and your challenge is the two of wands, okay? So yeah, you're making plans, your future planning. There is progress. There's decisions you're making. You're feeling determined, okay? But there's still something holding you back. You're still not sure in the situation. Now, in the root, three cards came out for, uh, yeah, in the root, three cards came out for you. You got the nine of wands, the queen of wands, and the page of pentacles. So of course here, there's you're being very cautious at this time, okay? You're putting up your boundaries. You're still very persistent in moving forward. And there's definitely here um, some type of opportunity that's coming in. And it, what it declares with the Queen of Wands energy is that you need to be, uh, here is a state and an energy that you need to be confident and determined. So I do see a lot of determination, but I do see some type of opportunity that's coming in. Uh, but even though you're, 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 you're cautious about it, okay, it's all about how confident you are in the situation or determined. So we will put uh, the Page of Pentacles up right here, okay? In the recent past till now, you're you're coming in. We're here with the Queen of Swords energy. Of course, you're very honest, independent. You're fair and very objective. Okay, and um, with the Four of Cups energy here, it's like there's maybe boredom at this time. You're bored. Uh, uh, you know, the spirit is trying to show you something. You're not interested. You're not interested in the Three of Cups either. You're not interested in the One of Cup there. You're not interested. Period. Um, you know, and uh, maybe you're dealing with a lot of that. Maybe uh, you're dealing with toxic or unhealthy people. Maybe you see them, you see right through them in a situation and you're not interested here. Okay. Um, they also mean uh, negativity, being stuck. Okay. Or uh, making poor choices. There could be like unhealthy or toxic people or whatever. You could be dealing with a Capricorn. If it doesn't have to be a Capricorn and energy, but you know, this is what's happening. In the immediate future, in the immediate future, I have the Queen of Cups. So you're, here you are as the Queen of Swords, as the Queen of Cups. Doesn't matter if you're male or female. I'm looking at the energy, not at the gender, okay? Just uh, make it clear here. Uh, with the Queen of Cups, this is someone that's very compassionate, very warm. They're very kind. They're, um, there's a, someone here that's a, that's a very supportive, okay? You mean, this could be you and energy, like I said. And what's being hidden from you is a Knight of Swords energy. So there will be an unexpected message coming in. Uh, this message is very direct, assertive, and uh, a lot of, uh, it, it brings in a bit of challenge, but communication is the key here. And in the hopes and fear, you got the three of wands, so you're manifesting, your manifestations are here. Now, you're, there's nothing holding you back anymore here. You're moving forward, okay, with the three of wands. It also talks about success, travel, overseas opportunities, your ships are coming in, and last but not least, in the overall uh, not the overall, but possible outcome. You got the sun, which is the best card in the deck. And it talks about joy, happiness, all the positive vibes and abundance that's coming in for you. So let's clarify the cards and see what's going on here for you. We're going to look at uh, the two of wands. I'm not touching the... Oh, no, for actually... The Eight of Cups first. So let's look at the Eight of Cups in the overall. Sorry about that, Libra. <laughs> so I see you're moving, I'm moving on from a situation. Maybe also that some of you will be traveling or you're walking away to go towards uh, your uh, Ten of Cups. Nine of Swords, Three of Swords, Knight of Wands. Yeah, definitely here, you're walking away from uh, painful situations that took place here from your past. Okay, you're moving on. You're 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 still carrying that sorrow, you know, in within you at times, or that sadness, or that some type of heartbreak in a situation. I do see someone coming in. Okay, definitely here. There's gonna be some type of unexpected message, very assertive, like I said, coming in. Someone that's very assertive and they're very direct. The Knight of Wands energy is someone here that is, has a difficulty to commit, okay, as well. Maybe some of you are going to be walking away from a, a situation like that. But the Knight of Wands energy for me also means that someone here is uh, someone here that is uh, that is traveling as well. And they get things done very quickly, like very assertively. 
and also someone here is replanning like uh, they're planning to move uh, to a new residence here so i do see uh, moving away from a situation walking away from people that hurt you or people that could not commit to you but there's definitely a new mess uh, there is definitely a message coming in here for you and you did get the knight of swords twice okay in your uh, also in your what's hidden from you so let's look at the two of wands here right right here in the middle of your reading and this is what is um crossing you and could be a challenge let's look at the two of wands four cups magician the devil yeah definitely here um you need to really trust your intuition in a situation here because uh, i do see that uh, you want you are manifesting here okay you're manifesting you're making progress you're making plans but there's still something holding you back okay what i do see is that there is there could be some type of toxic or energy around you people or situations could be just negativity uh, just that you know unhealthy relationships or you're feeling stuck it could be any type of situation addiction i do see that there's going to be like a sense of someone here rejecting this situation uh because someone here is manifesting okay uh wish menace manifesting wanting to move away from this type of energy okay so i'm going to take out one card for the high priestess one card for the high priestess please <clears throat> unless there's more cards to take let me see three cups the world yeah so to access the high priestess you need to withdraw from people and uh, follow your own direction here okay and it's about searching for your truth and uh, it's about turning inward reflecting meditating and that's why the high priestess come in some of you are putting a past or sorry an end to a past where there was a lot of interferences or third party situation there is definitely you're graduating here so congratulations you're going to the next level okay and it's about coming in completion okay completion is taking place an end an important site there's an end of an, an important cycle that's happening for you a new beginning and there's going to be success and you are manifesting and you're trying to get away from this type of energy so let's look at the page of pentacles here with the queen of wands and the nine of wands this is in the root yeah the three of pentacles again the queen of wands and the seven of wands yes definitely here definitely here um you know th this is about collaboration um teamwork i do see a strong foundation here taking place uh, people working together uh, whatever this is it's about your confidence it's about your determination there is going to be a, an opportunity that's coming in again the queen of wands comes in again and with the seven of wands here you are setting boundaries and you're facing your challenges as you go along while you're manifesting while there's a new beginning taking place for you now let's look at the recent past till now we're going to look at the queen of swords you got justice you there you go you come into your own reading princess of wands the nine of wands it, it's normal you're still putting you're still setting boundaries you're very cautious at this time okay and persistent moving forward yes this is about balancing the karmic scales this is coming in for you okay it's about fairness and something is coming into balance here for you beautiful even though you're still putting up your walls something is definitely coming in divine timing for you You've been seeing the signs, you've been feeling it, okay? And there's also a sense of excitement, adventure, and a lot of fresh ideas and something that's very passionate here. So let's look at the Four of Cups. These two cards wanted to come out. The Knight of Pentacles, this card too flipped over. The Six of Swords. And the Nine of Cups. There could be material success or a wish fulfillment. From the eight you went to the nine okay because you, you are rejecting something here um definitely here uh with the six of swords you're moving on you're leaving something behind or situations behind you're you're planning very carefully you know you're taking your time but you're planning your next move definitely here there's a lot of movement taking place here for you okay so it's very beautiful to see that now let's look at the devil energy you've got the eight of swords So 
So you've got the Devil, the Eight of Swords, the Ten of Swords, the Princess of Cups. Yes, like I said, there's an ending that's taking place, okay? It's an ending. Ending of, um, where is that card? Oh yeah, there it is, sorry. <laughs> of negativity, of uh, being stuck, or uh, addictions, or poor choices, or toxic energy patterns, whatever it is. There's an ending that's taking place. There's a dead end. There could be some type of betrayal, maybe. Um, but definitely there's an ending. Something ran its course. The 10 becomes a 1. There's light at the end of the tunnel. A lot of you at this time are feeling trapped in your head. You're in your head. You're overthinking. Maybe you're restricting yourself in this energy. Okay, but there is definitely something that's ending while there's new beginnings taking place. And with the Page of Cups energy, okay, this is about opportunities and possibilities that are coming towards you. Now, let's look at the Queen of Cups, Libra. You've got the Ace of Pentacles. The King of Swords. The Fool. Now, there could be a King of Swords around you. Could be. But I feel that this also, like I said, is also, I feel that this is your energy. Could be that there is a King of Swords, someone that is... Uh, is very uh they have a lot of experience they have they're sharp in energy i feel that this is you uh, in energy from the queen you you came into the king of swords uh just not in gender and energy but just in the energy itself okay this is like you remain uh, objective uh, in your current situations that you are faced with um you are able to uh, rule out like if some like you're able to put your point across um if you have to and this is about attaining your goals and uh, also about seeing things from a different perspective from a higher perspective definitely there's a new financial opportunity for some of you or some type of gift or some or something a new start that's taking place with stability here because you got the fool so there is definitely a fresh start for you and the beginning of a new journey now let's look at this queen at uh, this uh, knight of swords because it came out twice okay so this is someone that's coming to you directly with a message here The Ace of Swords, the High Priestess, the Lovers. This person will, this person, so, okay, this person that's coming in, okay, will bring in uh, clarity, will bring in uh, truth. There is a breakthrough here that's taking place, okay? With the High Priestess, it's about you following your intuition on this, and I feel you'll know exactly, because this could be a lover, a friend, could be anybody, this could be a... Uh, uh, you know, romance or partnerships in any shape, way, or form. And there is choices that you will have to make. But I feel that you will be clear. And this person, if this, whoever this person that's coming in, they're going to be telling you the truth. But there's choices. Let's look at the Three of Wands and the Hopes and Fears. We've got the Five of, of uh, Wands that came out. Three of Wands, Five of Wands. Eight of Wands, the Death card. Yeah, definitely, you're going through a transformation. Okay, that's normal. You're going through a transformation. There's like endings of cycles. There's new beginnings. There's change. There's transformation. From the Five of Wands where maybe you felt tension within you or, or there was tension within you or conflicts or, or conflict or maybe you had conflict within you in a situation or maybe there was disagreements from the five you're moving to the eight and the eight of wands talks about quick movement that's going to take place travel news and messages coming in so you could be dealing with a scorpio but whatever this is that is that you are going through a death and rebirth here okay and uh, let's look at the sun card let me take it out and put it right here the sun is shining on you libra so let's look at the sun card The Two of Cups, the Two of Wands, the Five of Swords. Let me see. I feel like here, the Five of Swords, for me, what it feels like is that there's conflict here. Um, making a lot of difficult choices, but you're going to gain your clarity here in a situation. Um, let me see what else this talks about. Princess of Swords. One more card for the Five of Swords, the Princess of Swords, and... Two of Pentacles, Nine of Swords, Nine of Cups. 
Yeah, you're gonna, you're gonna have to make a judgment here. That's why it's very important uh, to go within and to follow that intuition of yours because definitely the sun, uh, well, I mean, you do have positive cards here. Uh, you are gonna be releasing people or situations or patterns that do no longer serve you. Uh, so you are gonna be traveling 100%, okay? Or uh, re also uh, could be change of residence here. Uh, moving on, moving to a more peaceful place. And there's so many opportunities and possibilities that could take place and choices from partnership to romance. And you are going through a transformation. The sun is shining. This could be a meeting of two people for work, love, romance, or some type of meeting. Uh, again here, if it feels like you're holding back and you know, you're not moving forward, but the three of wands that showed up here means you are going to step over this two of wands energy. Okay, of course, uh, you know, a lot of you feel defeated in, the, in, a, in a situation in your life here. Um, like I said, there's difficult choices that you still have to make, but you will gain that clarity. A lot of you have fear, you know, fear-based energy or just feeling anxiety or just feeling negative. Uh, I do feel that there's a breaking point here. You may be being pulled in two different directions, okay, as well. That's where the conflict is. But it also means at the same time, you're balancing and juggling and making financial decisions if asked to be about work. There is wealth, a wealth, uh, uh, there could be, uh, sorry, this is a seven of cups. There could be, there's so many choice, sorry, there's so many choices here in Yala. You are daydreaming at this time. Um, and what I do see is that there is going to be new communication coming in. They're very curious energy. They're very chatty. They could be watching you on social media. There is going to be some type of communication. And I do believe that you will have to make a judgment here because there's a higher calling for you. So you do have to make a judgment. Okay. And uh, maybe it's out of your control too. Who knows? But I do believe that you have to make a judgment. Like I said, there's endings. There's new beginnings. There's so many possibilities, so many choices that you have to do. You need to trust that intuition of yours and not be in your head about it. And whatever happened in the past doesn't mean it's going to happen now, okay? Because this is, we're, we're entering a new energy now. And some of you are still like going through the transformation. You're also going through an awakening and a rebirth. And underneath the deck, you have the Ten of Pentacles, the King of Wands. Okay, so let's look at these two cards. This is about the fruit of life, Libra. If you don't know what the fruit of life is, just Google fruit of life and it's going to tell you what it means. This is about, um, you know, uh, stability and maybe a, a, whatever situation it could be a legacy or financial success with the King of Wands energy. This is beautiful. From the Queen, you could go to the King of Wands. Okay, this is about taking leadership. There's a bigger picture here. There's a bigger picture. There's a vision, right? And it's about you taking control and moving forward passionately towards your goals, whatever they may be. So I hope that Libra, you enjoyed your reading. reading. Don't forget to comment, like, of course, share and subscribe. Know that I have your back and I love you all. And remember, together as one, together we are one. <laughs> uh, together we are one. And also together we are light, so keep shining that light. And together we are love, so keep shining that love or giving that love out there because we all need you at this time. And um, yes, and I'll see you next week, but stay tuned for part two of your Oracle card. Love you. Bye. Hi Libra and uh, welcome back for part two of uh, your oracle card. Uh, I always feel that uh, we always need an oracle card at the end so that we can have completion. So let's see what's happening here for you. The Seeker. Okay, so let me read this to you. Look at how beautiful the cards are. The seeker indicates a need for energy, movement, vitality, and excitement. The seeker is childlike at heart and has faith that at, faith that at its core, the world is a beautiful place. As we grow older, it is easy to lose touch with our innocence and sense of wonder. We have responsibilities, stressful home and work environments external pressures, physical sensitivities, and this ease. In the end, we get locked into the into a survival mentality and we don't know how to break free. The seeker's mes message is one of reclamation. It is not so much about ridding yourself of the stress, but remembering your essence. Slowly nurture your sense of wonder to all that is around you. 
You may feel silly at first, but keep working on it to balance out the negative. Replace statements of what if everything goes wrong with what if everything is exactly as it should be. Balance seeker energy is one of empowerment, curiosity, and feeling confident to navigate both the external and internal worlds. If seeker is out of balance, you may be a bit untethered. You may be pushing yourself on the next thing, thinking that may that may be your cure. An unbalanced seeker energy may also give their power away to others. As seekers, we must remember. A seeker, we must remember that we are gathering experiences and wisdom for growth, not because we believe it is a prescription to fix our previous perceived issues. So you got the seeker. I hope you enjoyed your reading my uh, and your oracle card, Libra, and I'll see you next week. Bye. Love you.